I am Yosh from Baimaban.com and today I want to talk to you about the origins of sushi. I actually actually thought this question was quite strange because in my mind sushi was obviously from Japan. When thinking of the origins of sushi, most will associate it with Japanese culture. They may not even give it uh, a second thought as to whether it is Chinese. However, sushi does have its roots in Chinese culture and it may be surprising to find out how easily these lines can become blurred. I'll answer the question if sushi is Chinese or Japanese and why there is a legitimate cause for confusion. Although sushi is commonly associated with Japan, it originated outside of the country. Early historical records trace it back to the regions of Southeast Asia around the Mekong River in the secondary century uh, CE. It started out as nari sushi or fermented fish wrapped in sour rice, a dish that later spread into China and Japan. Although early forms of sushi spread to China and Japan, the Chinese were quick to uh, adopt it. The rice was not seen as a part of the meal, but rather as a way to preserve the fish during the times before re refrigeration. The fermentation of the rice worked as an antimicrobial, keeping the fish from spoiling. When rice ferments, it becomes acidic, producing conditions that are unfavorable to bacteria. The half-fermented fish that resulted from this preservation process is known as nawanare. Today, there are still dishes served in Hunan that use rice and salt to ferment fish. Eventually, Japan became inspired by China to make their own version of nabanare. However, rather than using the rice to preserve the fish, they would eat it along with the, uh, with the raw fish. Like the Chinese, they also called this dish nabanare or nabanari. The dish continued to evolve and during the Murumachi period, it was served as fish wrapped in, uh, in, in rice, in sushi rice. Once again, the rice was not used to preserve the fish, but just for the taste and enjoyment of the food. However, it is worth mentioning here that the formulation of vinegar played a major role in the evolution of sushi. Once vinegar was formulated, people stopped using fermented rice to preserve the fish and used vinegar instead. Not only did vinegar work well in the preservation process, but it also brought a taste to the fish that people preferred, especially when it was mixed with sugar. It wasn't until the mid 1800s during the Edo period when we would start to see sushi that more closely resembled the modern day sushi that we know and love. The modernized version was called Hayazushi and was created by a man named Hanaya Yohei. Although there are blurred lines when considering whether sushi is Chinese or Japanese, many associate the food with Japan. This is partially due to the fact that a Jap Japanese man is credited for bringing the modern version of sushi to the masses, but it's also because Japan has integrated uh, the food into its culture so much. The Japanese use food as a way to display their cultural heritage, and sushi is a big part of this. The lines between sushi and Korean sushi are a lot less blurred as the lines between Chinese and Japanese are, because it is quite clear that Japan introduced sushi to uh, Korea when it annexed Korea in 1910. And that's when I brought dishes like sushi to the country. The Korean sushi you see now is an evolution of from the sushi that Japan brought, and they call it giba, where uh, it's more like sushi bowls. I hope this answers your question around origins of sushi. I have another great video for you about the most popular Japanese foods explained. You can watch it here. Also subscribe to hear more from us at bitemaban.com or search Google for Bite My Bun Sushi for all of our information around the topic. I've been Joost, your host, and thanks so much for watching us.